to be filming this look for you guys that I have created and I used the Morphe Jaclyn Hills favorite palette I know that that was limited edition I'm so sorry you guys but that is the palette that I used when I created this look um, I had posted this look on Instagram a few days ago and it was requested for me to do a tutorial so here it is tutorial for the look that I created I hope you guys enjoyed I am so so excited for fall and fall is coming up and it's going to get colder and it's going to be a lot more chillier and it's sweater weather and there is so so much that I'm so excited for that is going to be coming up in the coming months what are you guys must have favorites for fall some of mine are dark lips Starbucks coffee a scarf or two and friends <laughs> of course <laughs> So those are some of my must-have for fall. What is your must-have, you guys? Comment down below. I would love to read your comments. Don't forget to like this video if you guys liked it. Don't forget to comment down below your fall must-haves for this year and subscribe if you haven't. I will check you guys in my next video. Have fun. Be safe. Bye, you guys. Hey, beauties. I'm going to take my B Matte Blush from City Color in toasted coconut and I'm going to use that as a transition shade and this is just going to be our best friend color and that is going to help blend out any other color that we put on top. Then I'm going to take the comfort zone palette from wet n wild and that brow bone highlight shade and I'm going to put that in my inner corner to brighten and open up the eyes and I know that this seems so backward me putting on my highlight shade first but I actually had a completely different look when I created my fall look so I'm gonna take that rose gold color also from the comfort zone palette and I'm gonna put that all over my lids and this is basically going to be our lid color I love the way this look came out it was so beautiful then I'm gonna take my Jaclyn Hill palette and that to that toasted <laughs> I'm gonna take my Jaclyn Hill palette and that rustic orange color and I'm going to put that in my crease I'm going to be building this color up because I really want that orange shade to stand out it really just screams fall to me I don't know the whole like orange plum cranberry just goes so well and it screams fall I love it so much then I'm going to also like always blend 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 ladies gentlemen blending is so crucial and so important when it comes to eye makeup looks it doesn't matter if it's super simple or super dramatic blending is a must please don't skip that step then I'm going to take these two shades and I'm going to mix them together and I'm really going to concentrate that on the lower part of my crease I don't want to take it past that orange shade because I don't want that to be the main focus I want that orange shade to be the main focus and then when you close your eyes you see that cranberry plum color which looks so beautiful and I took a stiff dome brush any one that you have will do this one's from Lancome and I've had it for years and it's honestly one of my favorites and I'm really going to concentrate that color on my lower crease not passing that orange shade then I'm going to blend again like always because you don't want any harsh lines and this is the same brush that I used to apply that orange rustic shade but it has no product on it and now I'm really going to pack the color as you can see I'm tapping the color onto my lid to really get that pigmentation from that shade and this look was just so beautiful I loved it I did make some changes in the look that I honestly loved it looked so much more dramatic and vampy altogether like always you guys blend 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 blending is so important I cannot stress that enough now I'm gonna take those two shades that we mix together on our crease and I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line for some definition and this is basically going to be completing the whole look you guys don't have to take it as low as I do. Um, I have so much space under my eyes that 
you know, I really like taking the shades really low. But you can change this look to suit your eye shape. And please, again, I cannot stress enough, you guys, blend. I'm blending what I did on the bottom. And this is where I basically changed the look. I took a brown cold liner from Wet n Wild and I just put that in my inner in my inner corner no in my waterline when I took the picture for Instagram I didn't have this but I really wanted to add some more drama and vampiness to the look now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and I was actually singing the theme song for friends because I love friends so much <laughs> yeah friends okay continuing on curl your eyelashes to give those bad boys some Ba -ba boom some volume and we're going to apply our mascara I'm using Tarte lights camera lashes which is one of my favorites like ultimate favorites in Thai heart and big lash mascara from Ruby kisses which is also one of my dark heart die hard favorites I cannot speak today and then I decided to add some more drama and volume and I added lashes. These are I Envy from Kiss. These are probably one of my favorite, favorite, favorite drugstore lashes. And they're so natural and they suited the look so beautiful. Okay, so I used, I showed you guys some couple options for dark lips right there, but then I just zoomed in to use what I used. I used Current Lip Liner from MAC and I just lined my lips like I would naturally. Then I used Feminist um, Lippy Stick from Color Pop. And this is not what I was wearing in the picture on the Instagram picture that I took, but I really wanted darker lips because I felt like the whole look was just so vampy and dramatic and it just went so perfect. After this, it's basically complete. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.